Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today we're looking at a game that, although obscure, is important to video game history, specifically Codename Eagle. First released in November of 1999 by Refraction Games, Codename Eagle is sometimes referred to as Battlefield Zero, as not only was it the first game to use the iconic refractor engine seen in early Battlefield titles, but also, in terms of gameplay, Codename Eagle managed to lay down some of the foundation for the Battlefield franchise. For these reasons, Codename Eagle is an important part of video game history. Although, unfortunately, getting it to run these days fully is something of a challenge. But let's now move on to how exactly to conquer that specific challenge. Now I should mention that the steps listed are to get a physical copy of the game working, as currently it is the only legitimate way to acquire Codename Eagle, or at least the single player side of it anyways. Secondly, I need to mention that if you want the single player experience as well as the multiplayer experience, then you're going to need two separate installations of this game as well as unfortunately some of the later patches for multiplayer which are commonly used tend to break the single player campaign. Finally, for reference, the machine that I am testing these fixes on is a Windows 10 64-bit with a GTX 980 Ti GPU, 48GB of DDR4 RAM, and an i7-6700K processor. With this in mind, the first step is to install your copy of Codename Eagle from the CD. If the setup.exe file is taking a while to get started, you may have a program that is blocking it from running. To fix this, go into Task Manager, click on the Details tab, and find setup.exe. Right-click on setup.exe and click on Analyze Weight Chain. Then simply end the process of whatever program is preventing it from running. You may have multiple programs causing setup.exe to not run, and thus you may need to repeat this process. Once the game is installed, however, we need to start the process of patching it. And this is where things can go horribly, horribly wrong as it appears that the North American version and PAL versions can have issues utilizing each other's 1.33 patch. And if you mix these versions up, there is a chance that you will have corrupted your installation of the game and thus need to start over. So if you have a North American copy of the game, then please use the 1.33 patch found on the CD itself, and do not use the one that is found online. Outside of the 1.33 patch itself, however, the other patches seem to be perfectly fine for a North American version. So next you'll want to apply the single player fix, the 1.36 patch, and the Windows 2000 fix in that order. Next up, we need to download and extract the latest version of DG Voodoo 2. And then we need to copy the files found in the x86 folder of the MS folder of the DG Voodoo 2 directory, and paste them into Codename Eagles directory. Next up, open up DG Voodoo 2, click Add, and then select Codename Eagles Directory, and then configure DG Voodoo 2 as shown here. Next up, you'll want to go into Codename Eagles Directory, right-click on game.exe, and select Properties. Click on the Compatibility tab, and then check Run This Program as an Administrator. The game should now run, however the music in the single-player campaign won't be able to loop right now. There is of course a way to get this working on your own, but to save everyone a considerable headache, I have decided to simply release a prepared fix myself. That said, please make sure to create a backup of your ce.exe file and your game.exe file before applying this fix. In addition, once these files are extracted, you may need to open up the inmm.ini file and change the directories listed to match your own game's installation directory. So now your single player build of Codename Eagle should be operational. And with this in mind, let's now move on to the multiplayer side of things. And to simplify the process, the fandom of Codename Eagle have actually converted the free demo of the game to be fully patched up to the latest edition of Codename Eagle as well as offer full multiplayer support. So feel free to simply download and install that into a separate directory from the single player portion of the game. And that's really all that is necessary. In fact, the fandom has 
has even created a special BAT file that will allow you to connect to the one and only remaining game server. Congratulations, if you have done everything correctly, your copy of Codename Eagle should be fully playable. And not only that, but it'll also be running in a modern resolution as well. I hope those of you who are having issues getting this game to run find this guide to be most helpful. And I also hope to upload another episode of Retro Game Repairman soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.